they are. <laughs> their calves are too. Those lines are so deliberate looking. So Audubon Nature Institute and San Diego Zoo Global came together and created the Alliance for Sustainable Wildlife. This is a first of its kind partnership to help the sustainability of some populations of wildlife in zoos that are not doing well. Uh, we only have so much room in zoos to hold animals and you need a lot of animals to make sure your genetics are healthy, your demographics of those animals are healthy. And the Alliance is uh, a large piece of property that we're going to be uh, housing and breeding a lot of these animals that really need the help. Because you got to see the animals in zoos, so, but they are a woodland species, so they live in the in woods in Africa. They live, they're actually an edge species, so they kind of... Yeah, we got some amazing animals in this spring. Uh, we have eastern bongo, which are a uh, critically endangered subspecies of bongo from uh, Africa. We also have sable antelope, common eland, giraffe, okapi, which if you've never seen an okapi, look up a picture. It's the most beautiful animal. Uh, and we also have some yellowback dikers. So okapi are pretty special to have in the zoo world. <laughs> um, usually, you have to have, you have to show you can keep a male healthy and alive for two years before they'll send you a female. Um, however, we got two males right away and we're getting a female this fall. And a lot of that is because we have the, pretty much their natural habitat. We have thick woods. Um, these guys are related to giraffe uh, and they are considered the forest giraffe. Um, they don't look a lot like giraffe. They look like a weird zebra. Yeah, so our giraffe enclosure, which also is going to have some antelope in it, is about 45 acres, and it's a, so it's a very large space. Uh, typical zoos, usually your giraffe enclosure is about 10 acres or less, uh, you know, and, and you can't have as many giraffes when you have the smaller enclosures. Um, but we can have a lot of a giraffe in a 45-acre enclosure. Um, they have to work a little bit harder because to get to their giraffe barn, if, if say, um, there's a storm coming, they have to walk a lot farther. So it's a little more work on the giraffe, but overall it's going to be a great environment for them. I think we just give it to him. Or? Swap out with someone once you're done. Let him eat. Too funny. We get. He's, you're, you're all over each other. That little baby likes you, Bobby. <laughs> Can I have your stick in your mouth? Give me that. Give me the stick. There you go. Oh, good baby. So, you know, zoos are very good at what we do. Um, we breed a lot of these species that you saw here today. A lot of these came, these came from other zoos. Um, but to really change the long-term sustainability of the population, we are looking at what species we can work with to produce a greater number of good genetic viable breeders for the future to ensure that these populations are here for many decades to come. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you got some stuff. 